Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at EIGRP and see how the auto summarization can affect you. So usually you've been told to type in no auto summary after starting EIGRP and sometimes or actually most of the time you probably don't know what the heck that command even does. So here we're going to purposely leave that in there, the auto summarization in there and see what happens. So we're working with our two router topology. So router 1 and router 2. Router 1 has 1.1.1.1 for the fast Ethernet interface. Router 2 has dot .2. And we've got two loopbacks on router 1. We've got 10.1.1.1. And on router 2 we have 10.1.2.1. So routers are already started up. I'm just going to make sure my IP addresses are correct. And they are and probably the simplest EIGRP configuration ever, we're going to first start off and put in the no auto that you've probably been told to do and we're going to throw all the interfaces into EIGRP with the network all zeros. Exit out of there. We'll go into router 2. Do the same thing. So router EIGRP 1, no auto, network, all zeros and exit out of there. You can see our EIGRP adjacency comes up and we'll do a show IP route. And you can see right here we've got the loopback of router 1 in our EIGRP table coming in our show IP route. So 10.1.1.1 or 10.1.1.0 that network is coming in via 1.1.1.1 and let's see if we could ping it and it works. And correspondingly if we go on router 1 and we do a show IP route, we have the information for loopback 0 from router 2. And of course, we should be able to ping that also. Okay, so everything looks, like, looks normal. This is what you're usually uh, told to type in. So let's change it up a bit. We'll go on router 1. We're going to kill EIGRP, so no router EIGRP 1. You can see the adjacency go down. Going to pop it back on, router EIGRP 1. Here we're going to not type in the no auto, so usually we would type in that, but we're not going to type it in, which means it's the same as, it, as if we typed in auto summarization. And we're going to still do our network statement, network of all zeros. Our adjacency comes up. We're going to go back on router 2. So before we saw that we had EIGRP route to loop back 0, 10.1.1.0. Here we're going to do a show IP route again. It can see that has changed to be a slash 8 instead of a slash 24. So here it's 10.0.0.0. Well, let's see if we can still ping it. And we still have reachability. Okay. So from the router 2's perspective, or everything that router 1 is advertising to, from router 2's perspective, everything has been squashed down to a slash 8 or a classful boundary. Since 10, anything that starts with 10 is in a class A, and class A's are a slash 8. Well, let's see if it looks any different from router 1's perspective. We'll do a show IP route on router 1. So we've got uh, two routes that we haven't seen before. We've got this one right here. So this is a 10.0.0.0 slash 8. That's a summary going to null 0. And then we've got this entry right here that looks a little different. 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Before it was a slash 24. The route going to the loop back of router 2 looks the same. It's still the slash 24. And that's because no auto summarization is set on router 2. So here we should be able to ping 10.1.2.1 and everything works out just as we thought it would. We still have reachability. Now the trick comes in, if we go to router 2, if we put auto summarization on router 2, we're going to see something interesting happen. So go to conf t, clear out router EIGRP1, see the neighborship go down, pop it back on, router EIGRP1, network 0000, and we are not typing in the no auto statement there. 
JSON C comes up, so it looks somewhat normal. Show IP route. So you can see here we've got the 10.0.0 slash 8 in there. And if we go to router 1, hit the up arrow, show IP route. So basically what we have here, if I move my terminal windows together, there we go. We've got a 10.0.0.0 slash 8 on both routers, which is kind of interesting. And you can see the D route here, the summary route. So what happens if we ping the loopback from router 1? So here we're pinging 10.1.2.1 and that does not ping. So that's definitely different from before. If we go to router 2, ping 10.1.1.1 and that's not going to ping. So what's going on here? Well, if we do a show IP route, 10. anything is going to go to the summary address. Okay. You can see right there 10 10.0.0.0.8 or slash 8 summary address it's going to null 0 so what's happening here is if we trace it out see the trace route dies because it's being dumped into the null route so what's happening here is because everything's being squashed to a slash 28 it is not advertising both routers are not advertising the specific slash 24 going to each loopback. So what ends up happening is the routes are dropped and you no longer have connectivity from either router. And that is the drawback of having auto summarization turned on. Now if these would have been on different networks, so let's say this was on 10.1.1.1, so it stays the same, and this was on a different class A of let's say 11.1.2.1 then we'd still have reachability because these are on different class A networks but here what's happening is this is on the same class A so this is on 10 and this is also on network 10 and that's where we have the problems so you could see here that auto summarization if you've got the 10 network or if you have the same network at different places around your network then you're definitely going to have a problem and you will not have reachability alright so that was a quick and easy video on how auto summarization can kill connectivity to your network thanks for watching